Yo, what's up, guys? Today, we're finding Ellen. And finding Dory. If you guys want us to watch more movies, suggest them down below in the comment section. And if you love Ellen and think she has never done any wrong in her life, check out our Patreon, where we've got lots of exclusive content and also do a monthly Patreon poll, where you guys can vote on what you want to see us watch next. Subscribe for Ellen DeGeneres? Dude, this movie is trauma for me because I asked the girl on a date to see this movie and she didn't realize I was asking her on a date. So then she asked if she could bring her friend. And then did you go? Yeah, we, we had fun. It was a good time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a very traumatic experience, but overall like a 9 out of 10, to be honest. Hi, I'm Dory. I suffer from short-term memory loss. Yeah! They yeah. gave her dad a receding hairline. I don't know how they did it. He's a fish. That's innovation. That's why Pixar's always pushing the envelope, man. But we already found her. <laughs> I did like th this movie's decent. All signs pointed towards this being a prequel, and then randomly it's the sequel. Never mind. Sorry. I remember it like it was yesterday. Of course, I don't really remember yesterday. All so, wait, this is crazy, though. You're telling me that after the event of Finding Nemo, she just hangs out with them all the time. She must be so fucking annoying. What? Well, I have a family. I, I know because I, you know, I must have come from somewhere, right? Everyone has a family, and I may not tell And them. we'll stop right there. Sorry, Dory, you're being a bit depressing for the children. We're trying to teach them how to have fun. Jesus. It's the funny turtle in this movie. <gasps> Dude, she remembered everything now. She turned into like Mr. Robot all of a sudden. She's like a genius. I remembered them. Wait, what did you remember? I remembered them, my mom, my dad. I have a family. They're probably dead. Like realistically speaking, what is the lifespan of these fish, right? It's been a full year and Nemo hasn't grown up. Like look at his little fin. Like Nemo still has his, his handicapped little fin. Like, Dude, he went on an epic quest solo, dude. I'm sure he'll be fine, okay? I hope Nemo dies in this movie. Like I've seen this movie twice already i'm hoping they changed it for the disney plus upload Yo, who's calling you bro someone someone forgot to mute their phone in the movie theater bro sorry john lasser is calling he's telling me to shut the fuck up and watch the movie please help me find my family yeah dad you can get us all the way across the ocean right no but i know a guy <laughs> yeah yeah Cinema. Hey dude, if you're gonna hurl, just do me a solid, head to the back of the shell, lean out, and go for distance. That's like the chill Uber driver that lets you vomit in his Uber, you know what I mean? That's like the Uber driver I had where it was like, yeah, some old lady came in my car and she was like, I'm gonna do coke in your back seat, and I was like, Sure. Sometimes I just like, I'm like paying attention to the movie. I forget that like you guys are talking and I just hear the coke in the back of my car. And like, what are you, wait, what are we talking about? What are you guys talking about? I I've heard that before. I remember someone saying, shh, shh. Sh yes, well done. That was me. One minute ago. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> One minute ago. My parents are Jenny and Charlie. Sorry, wait. Jenny. Can't we just take a moment Charlie? and come up with a plan? Jenny. Wait, this is Forrest Gump, bro. So Dory is going to meet JFK and shake his hand. This movie keeps your attention. You know, I'll, I'll say that. This movie has been keeping my attention. It's just like kind of like a nonstop sequence of things happening. That's the most like stupid thing to say about a movie ever. I just threw one of those into the ocean last week. What the fuck? Dude, maybe that was yours. Did they represent my, my waist? Ken, I'll, I'll go get help. You know what you can do, Dory? You can go wait over there. Go wait over there and forget. It's what you do best. Dude, we're getting a first act low point right now. This is a rare movie structure. First act low point. Like, Dory's entire life is a fucking low point. Look out! Ah! Oh, look at this! No respect for ocean life. Harley! Nemo! Oh, oh, not again! Not again! Let's take her inside and see how she does. Ah! Dory! Dory! Don't worry, Dory! Stay calm! We'll come find you! We'll find! Find! Dude, cut it out. You're a scientist. We talked about this. Okay. Oh my god, look at the cat poster! Oh, oh my god, octopus! Yeah, Wait a second. If there was if there's an octopus, it was on the cat. Does that mean that there was an octopus? So what exhibit are you from? Wait, I'm from an exhibit? 
Which one? I have to get the- The octopus took the most time and filmed of them, and apparently. I do like the way the octopus looks. It's cool how it blends in. I love seeing, like, animated stuff with tentacles, because it's so hard to animate. <laughs> <laughs> we know, bro. We've seen your her search history, bro. <laughs> you were about to give me your tag. Well, I kind of like my tag. What, why do you want it? So I can go to- Cleveland. Why do you want to go to Ohio that badly? It's not like I have a map of this place. <gasps> a map? Good idea. You take me to the map. I figure out where my parents are. Oh boy. Your parents were euthanized, bro. They're dead. Oh, I think I remember the plot twist being that... I can't... Is that true, Chad? Good job, Jack. You ruined the whole fucking movie. Good job. This is why no one ever wants to watch anything with you. I did? Oh, yes, you did. You're getting good at this story. Wait, she grew up in the aquarium. You see that shit? Is this the asylum where they raised her? I remember her now. Purple shells were her favorite. And she had this adorable giggle, and then my dad was really funny. And now your wacky memory's gonna get his cut. This is very similar to Octodad. Like, he's just flopping around everywhere, and, like, the controls are all fucked. What the fuck do you mean the controls are fucked? Are we watching you play the game right now, Jack? Did you not know? I've been playing this whole time you've been controlling it the whole time See, i played extra dollars to be in charge of the gameplay that's actually i didn't know that's really cool hey guys i'm looking for my family Oh my god. Oh my Dory god. playing dead is so funny. That's crazy. This movie's dark. Like the human equivalent of this is like, oh god, I don't even want to think about it. Wait, what? Hi. Hello there. Can you help me? Destiny is such a stupid character in this movie. Is she like an always sunny or something? Yeah, it's D. Oh, okay. We talked through the pipes when we were little. We were pipe pals. We I have a couple pipe pals. I have a couple pipe pals. I just wanna I just wanna be be open, bro. Give me that tag. Wait, 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 no. I know where my parents are. They're in um Oh, what's it called? The place, uh, you, uh, soap and lotion? Open, open ocean. ocean. Open ocean. Soap and lotion. God damn it, Ellen. Everybody, can we get a round of applause for Ellen as a person? Great job. I love her. Can we get a round of applause for like who Ellen is and everything she's ever done in her career? I wish I was. I worked for her so she could abuse me. But I can't get in that way. Well, I'm sorry, but there's no other way. There's no other way. <gasps> I love her fucking flashback moment. The flashback looks so funny. It, it's given some Zat So Raven. There. Guys, follow me. I know how we can get the locomotion. Open ocean. Exactly. Take this with a grain of salt. I might be enjoying this movie more than Finding Nemo. Fun. This movie's more fun. This movie's just like a like a fun little time. Because I think the fish in captivity are, are more fun in this than when Nemo was in captivity. Go! Now, now, do it! Now. Wow, look at that. Wow, look at that. Bro forgot they were a fish and was just enjoying the aquarium as a human. Now remember, Destiny said follow the signs to- Dude, no one is pointing out the fucking empty carriage that's just fucking floating through the people. This actually is Octodad gameplay. Now, I'm genuinely curious. Did Octodad come out before or after this? Because this is just- Did Pixar watch Oct play Octodad and go like, that's actually fire. Let's animate that. Left. And steer clear of people, will you? Especially kids. I don't want to be touched. Do not mess me up. Let <laughs> me get that for you. Here you go. Woo! Chad is pointing out that that was a lesbian couple. Like, I'm actually so woke, I didn't even notice. I didn't notice either because I don't see sexuality. I only do sexuality. I don't see it. You know what I mean? Did you think that Ellen wouldn't voice act in the movie unless there was like a scene with a lesbian couple? She's like, don't even pay me. She got paid in yelling at the animators. Like, that's, that's how they paid her. Fun fact. The octopus has three hearts. Two pump blood to the gills, what? while the third pumps blood throughout the body. Wait. If you think about it, Dory's kind of like Patrick. She's like the little stupid goober, but then also she randomly knows a lot of really specific facts about science. And it's mean to say that I would lose someone I love. Oh! I did not lose them. Hank? Hank? Oh my God, dude. I love these little starfish things when they got them little booty cheeks. Hank with a K. Hank. Hands. Hands? This is a fucking war zone. They look like literal drone strikes and they're stealing them away. Oh my God. This is actually fucking horrifying. I'm sorry, Hank. I'm sorry. I can't remember right. The visions, bro. Raven, chill. It's like fucking Dune. She's getting like the visions, bro. You know what you need to do? Just keep swimming, and that's the thing for the first movie. And that's the thing for the first movie. 
<laughs> Let me translate that into English. So that was the thing in the first movie, and her mom taught her to say that. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Yeah. Can we talk about how Dory didn't even come up with the song that made her popular? Uncreative ass. Her parents were the ghost writers. I'm coming, Daddy. Ellen would never say that line. <laughs> he pissed himself. There's surely like one kid there who was like, that's fucking sick as hell, bro. Black water. It reminds me of my favorite My Chemical Romance song. The world's most powerful pair of glasses. We found it. No, no, no. You found that. Oh, that's so pretty. That is actually fucking beautiful. Oh my god. Is this a real aquarium that this is based off of? This is based off of the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Bro, I'm buying my fucking ticket right now, bro. This aquarium looks awesome. Yeah, I mean, you should probably look up if it actually looks like this and it isn't just embellished for the sake of the movie before you put a lot of money into that. Just, I don't know. And we'll just have to think. What would Dory do? What would Dory do? Not gonna lie, these guys don't need to be in the movie. Think about how annoying the movie would be if there were no cutaways from Dory. I mean, I actually had to deal with her for an hour and a half. I think <laughs> you're annoying, man. Sorry. Okay, follow me. You're in a cop. Right, I'll follow you then. Bottom feeders? Sign me up, bro. Why is this? This feels like the fucking Blade Runner scene where he's looking at the giant woman. <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> I think you are. Dude, twist the villain. Would this movie have been better if it was a musical? Shockingly, I think it would have worked, but that would break the line. The line between a Pixar movie and a Disney movie is that the Pixar movies don't have the characters sing. What about Coco? Well, they do. What about Moana? That's Disney. No, that's Pixar. No, this is Patrick. Now, if you ever get lost, or you just follow the show. Oh my goodness, they fuck with Shell, bro. They love gas. I love dumping oil in the ocean. You're listening to Real Pollution Radio. Drink the Gatorade and then we'll be right back after these advertisements. Hey guys, today we're reviewing Finding Dory on our YouTube channel. This is a radio advertisement for spilling the milk. <laughs> So contextually, this entire reaction is one single radio play advertisement. Yes. <laughs> oh. oh, I can't do that. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. Dory is kind of me-coded. This movie makes you feel like Dory. It makes you forget about everything else in your world. This movie really makes you feel like you have a mental disability. This movie makes you feel like you're drowning in water because you're like, you're losing circulation in your brain. No, Eden-chan, do you need Moat the Moat? Oh my God, Core, kiss him before it gets too late. I don't think we should continue this one. I don't think this bitch should continue. For the good of the channel. How did this recording become so brain rot all of a sudden? Like this was a normal recording for the first 45 Five minutes and then the IQ just fell off the cliff. Dory, swim! Swim your way to where? You think Dory likes PBR? That's why she's forgetful. She she drinks to forget, bro. Ah! Ah! Dory! I love Marvin and Nemo Nemoid. But Dory, because of who you are, you are about to find your parents. This scene's so fucking green. Looks like they're in like a diarrhea-ridden toilet right now. This is like you're having an emotional argument, but one of you is like taking a shit. And it's like you can't leave the bathroom because the argument's kind of already started there. So now you're just arguing in the shitter, but like it's all green and gross. It's like, I do not have time for this. I'm coming, Daddy. Stop! Stop saying things, Ellen. This is why the Ellen show got canceled, bro. Mom! Dad! Mom! Dad! Just because they have the same skin color as you doesn't mean they're your parents, bro. Look for the receding hairline. Look for the receding hairline. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Beep, 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 beep. Looking, looking. Searching for receding hairline. Dad? Where are my parents? They died. Obviously her parents aren't dead though. So her parents are probably in the ocean somewhere and then she's gonna find them. And she's like, hello everybody, hello everybody, hello. They're not, what? Dory, they're gone. <gasps> they're dead? 
What, is she gonna have a panic attack? She's a fish. You can't have a panic attack if you're a fish. Dory actually cannot catch a break, bro. Dory is so positive for someone with like the worst life ever. She's literally fucking pun pun in this movie. You can still get panic attacks. They are valid. What? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What would Dory do? Jelking Dory. Would you guys watch a movie called Jelking Dory? Do you have a pitch for it? Uh, like a basic premise? Dory forgot how to do something. She forgot how to satisfy herself. You know what I mean? Not cool, bro. I know it wasn't cool. <laughs> when have we ever said anything cool? I would help her remember it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the movie's about. That's what the movie's about, man. That's a great comment. I Honestly, Eden, I'm surprised you predicted that. Boo, I wish they were dead instead. It would have been more climatic. Editor, cut this out. I can't believe they never brought Dory's parents back. <laughs> that was very brave of Pixar to do, honestly. I'm so sorry. Oh, honey. What? Oh, oh, honey, no, no, no. Dory's mom is a smash. Okay, we gotta lock up Chad after today. Look what you did. What? You found us! That's right! You found us! That's not the title of the movie, though. We were supposed to find her. Marlon and Nemo! Nobody saw where Dory went? Seriously? Seriously? Oh my god, they're gonna kill that fish! He's gonna be dog food by the end of the week. Her meeting her parents was, like, immediately undermined by something else that's more important. I feel like it was a decent amount of time. We were just, like, yapping over the whole thing, so... You know, if, if, if you're gone Mom. for, I don't know, too long, Mom. and what if you get confused? And, and that makes you distracted, and what if... I lose you again. Her mom is going through a condensed Marlin arc right now. The, they just got all the otters to stop oncoming traffic. This is, so many people would die from this. Isn't this crazy that no one crashes? Like, there's one person in the back right now that's like, Please! My wife! She's pregnant! She's not gonna make it! Ah, <laughs> uh, please don't eat us! Where's Dory? Who are you? Jenny? Marlon? Charlie? Nemo? This movie's so fast-paced. Like, it is fucking on a treadmill. Jenny, Marlon, Charlie, Nemo? Blah! What is so great about plans? I never had a plan. Did I plan to lose my parents? No. Did I plan B? No. I'm pregnant, Hank. With your baby! <laughs> You're going to back to the ocean! Oh yeah, this what shit. Hank be driving the fucking car, bro. This shit gets so fucking insane, dude. Hey, I know those guys. That's where we came from. Turn right. Here we go. This scene is just so absurd. This is awesome. If you show like an out of context 30 second scene, someone is not even going to know that this is from Finding Door. Just all this driving and almost killing people. How the fuck is this the Finding Nemo franchise? The ocean. It's straight ahead. Now we're talking. They gotta drive it into the ocean? They gotta drive it through the cops, bro. <laughs> no way they ended with the Louis Armstrong, dude. That's actually fucking fire. Look at the cinema. This is peak. This is goaded. Single-handedly takes the movie from like a 6 out of 10 to a 7 out of 10. What lies before you represents the third and final part of the marine life mission. Is this movie goaded? Is this movie like actually good? Holy shit. I'm Sigourney Weaver. Thank you for joining me. That was an awesome scene. That's such a great way to wrap up this movie. That was so fun. Hey, where is everyone? Uh oh, did did they leave me? No. No, no, they wouldn't do that. Okay, that's okay. I can figure this out. How do you make a sequel to this, though? Do they just call the next one climate change? Like the sea levels are rising? Do you know what this means, honey? It means you can do whatever you put your mind to, Dory. Wait, is she, does she get over her memory issues? Is that what's happening right now? She's learned how to work with her disability, and that's so wholesome, champ. Yeah, she just banged her head early on in the movie, and it solved the issues. Bro, because it was it was because of her PTSD that she had the issue, but now she's officially cured herself. Yep. Unfortunately. 
unforgettable. It's a shame that the majority of the coral reef around the entire world are dying due to increasing temperatures in the ocean. I'm on the climate change. I'm on the climate change. If you guys want us to watch Finding Dory 3, get this video to 10 million likes. Arrow Mirror, Alex McLean, all timers of bad disease, we should cure it. Andrew Husky, Andrew Virgil, Anna Gooch, Arachnoid, Aaron Teetson, Atomic Leon, Barsom, Bento, Kane Rivers, Calm Luke, Cosmic Terry, Chris Flex Bunny, Dante Estefan, Diablo Chiquita, Divide, Frozen Spaghetti, Gabriel Gradus, G Tangle, Gub Star Gazer, Helia, Hysterian Extremble, Honor Pearson, Hummus, Isaiah Alfred, John Diggity Kramer, K99, Kenzie Hagen, Lilac Moon, Lovely Fish 34, Michael Rodriguez, Mr. Marcus Blitz, Mark 55, Native 5, Noda Galleon, O Fish Being, Omega Waffles, by the way, Paul of the God, Ooh, uh, Penny Pen Pen, Phoenix Amber, Pizza Loving Panda, Quartz Inc., Rabbit of Chirpanog, R. Diz, Ryan Thompson, Rocky Road Sprinkles, Rodrigo Luna, Rice Elka, Sloppy Jimmy Esquire, Sir Kaiju, Sir Kaiju, Sir Stills, 10 Soldier YT, A Comfortable Vegetable, Thoughts Visit, Victoria, and William Sayer.